So let's learn how to hide our loose quilting threads using a cheater needle. So the first thing to do is get your threads on one side of the quilt. This is where I ended quilting. So I've got a top thread on the top and my bobbin thread is still on the back. So what I wanna do is give that top thread a tug and that's gonna pull up a little loop, insert the tip of my needle into that loop, give it a gentle tug and that's gonna to come to the surface. So now I have two threads on the surface of the quilt. I'm gonna tie an overhand knot, just make a loop and then pass the tails through that loop. And now I'm gonna tighten this knot up and I'm not gonna tighten it up all the way to the surface of the quilt. I'm gonna keep it to about an eighth of an inch away. And the reason is if you tighten it up really tight to the surface of the quilt, it's not gonna pop into the middle. It's probably gonna stay on the surface. So now I'm gonna take a cheater needle. This is a special needle that has a groove on the top that allows you to easily thread it without having to sit there and poke it through the eye. That's a little time consuming and a little challenging sometimes. So I'm gonna run the needle through the middle layer of the quilt. This is in the batting area and I like to flip it over just to make sure that I'm not getting that needle coming through the back. So the needle is in the middle layer of the quilt and now I'm gonna take it like this and very gently pop the two thread tails into the eye of that needle. And I wanna leave a little loop right here of extra thread so that way as I pull the cheater needle through, it has more than enough slack and can pull all the way through very gently. And you can see just how perfect that finish is. You cannot tell that's where you started uh, or stopped quilting. There's no obvious knot. You can't feel anything on the surface. You just clip it off and it's done. So what if we end up with very short thread tails? Let's say our bobbin ran out and we ended up with really short tails. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna pull on one of the threads and just start picking back. You know, see a little loop pull up there and you just insert your needle very gently. Just, just be really gentle with this. I'm using isocord thread and it has a tendency to shred. If you're a little too aggressive with it, it will split and start shred. So just be really gentle, picking back one stitch at a time until your thread tails are long enough to tie into a knot and bury the exact same way. So this is the method that I use to hide all of my loose thread tails. I keep the cheater needle really conveniently placed next to my sewing machine on a pin place so I never lose it. You can find both the pin place and a pack of cheater needles at liliaday.com. Until next time, let's go quilt.